It's the making of hair-raising movies. No. Apex predators lurking in the ocean, waiting for that precise moment to make a move to attack. The Megalodon, one of the largest predators to ever roam the depths of the ocean. What was a Megalodon? They were the, the tough guys of the ocean. And although some people think they've seen one, today this species is extinct. Zach Frenaka has been searching for the past on the seabed for over 40 years. You're holding a piece of history, and if you're willing to search and brave the waters, you can be rewarded, and, and this is proof. Megalodons lived approximately 16 million years ago. They were as big as a school bus and weighed over 50 tons, nearly triple the size of today's great white sharks, surviving on early species of dolphins, whales, manatees, and seals. Are we sure that there are no more megalodons out there? This is ancient history. Yes, the shark has been extinct for millions of years, but there are still people who would love to believe and, and probably do believe that the megalodon exists in the depth somewhere. On this day, Venice, Florida, the shark tooth capital of the world, is our spot for some digging. So where are we? So we are getting ready to pass Snake Island and we'll be making our way west out of the Venice jetties. And the hunt is for? For megalodon teeth. That's right, teeth. Some sharks have seven rows of teeth that continuously push forward and fall out. It's the biggest shark that nobody's ever seen. It's called the megalodon. Extinct, but it left behind some fossils. And we're going in to find some. About 15 feet down, we spot what we set out to find. What is that? I found the tooth to a megalodon shark. Just out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Just out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Waiting for you to find it. It's waiting millions of years. These waters are rich with discovery. Gotta ask you, what do we have here? What is that? That is a sliced section of whale rib bone. Now, whether it was eaten or not, most likely was. But this is? That is a fossil. It's a, it is fossilized. It is, yeah, it yeah. is a, like a rock. That's right. It's no surprise searching for megalodon teeth has become a phenomenon. Megalodon teeth tend to be a, almost an American icon. There's a lot of variation in them. You can always find a better one, you can always buy a better one. It's got everything you need, really, in a fossil. Tourists flock to beaches around the country to join the hunt from the shore. It's kind of addicting. We just scoop it out, put it in, and shake it and see what we can find. Look at all these little teeth. For Zach, fossil hunting is personal, a skill he learned from his father as a child. Now a passion he's passing on to his own kids. Fossils are the so your kids will be finding these when you're long gone? My kids, their kids, those teeth will be there for generations. Wow, Carrie, how cool was that? <laughs> Carrie, do, do we know why the megalodon <laughs> shark went extinct? Well, the uh, biologists and the experts sort of suggest that they believe it was a case of the fact that water temperatures changed. As water temperatures changed, the food source, like the whales and the other sharks and the seals, began to move and disappear. And so ultimately, their food source disappeared and the megalodon disappeared, leaving behind these, which are really <laughs> incredible. You know, Zach has a, not just a hobby, he's got a, a business primitive past. He sells for up to 50 thousand dollars wow which explains why folks really? like these are out here hunting early this morning <laughs> looking for megalodon teeth really quite a find if you get one guys my goodness wow. and the megalodon is also delano melvin my son it's his favorite uh it's his favorite shark mm. won't encounter <laughs> one thankfully <laughs> <laughs> thank you karen thanks gary <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.